you all doing today? Good. See, yeah, I, I appreciate the response. Okay. Today we're going to do reading time with the queens, but today it's special because it's science time. We're doing a creature feature, like I said. And uh, because it's science time, I'm going to sing the science time with the queens theme song. Here we go. You got to ask those questions. Got to use your head. Make some observations. Compare it to what you've read for everything. That's not in a book. An experiment will help us take a look. And when we collect data and make a conclusion, we can thank Science Time for helping us have fun. Science Time with the Queen. There we go. That's our theme song, and I'm going to bring on our, your host for today, Mr. Rowan! Yay! Thank you, Miss Kelly. That was beautiful. You're welcome. Today, we are doing a... <laughs> I'll sing at the end. One more. Play free bird. <laughs> uh, we are doing a creature feature. Today, it's all about animals, because it is our science time. Woo! So, we are going to read some books about animals, but first, we are going to have Miss Kylie and Miss Zay come teach us some sign language. About today's theme. Take it away. Woo! Well, this is how you this is how you applaud for someone who is deaf. This is how you applaud in ASL. Very good, very good. So today we're gonna to show you some signs yeah. about our friends animals. 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 This, okay, this everyone do it with us. Animals. animals, perfect. <laughs> Do I know a sign for elephant, he asked. I think I do. It might be like that? Yeah. Yeah, so this would be elephant. Elephant. Kind of like their trunk. Perfect uh -huh. elephant. There's one. Well, explain to them it's because of their trunk. Yeah, the their nose. Elephant. What's your favorite animal sign? Hmm. This is penguin. Ooh, penguin. You guys just made some penguins. It's like how they walk. That's yeah, that. penguins. Are you with us? That's your favorite. That's a nice one. Why? They're just too heavy. My favorite yeah. animal sign probably is cat. Ooh, cat. Can you do cat? cat? They're like the whiskers. Some of you have cats. Cats? Yeah, so you know how to sign cat now. Yeah. Yeah. One of his favorite signs is dog. Yeah, obviously, this is one. It's like two back in a dog. Mm -hmm. That's dog. Yeah. Uh, uh, he has two dogs. What are their names? Queen, like uh, and Drake. Drake. Queen and Drake, the dog. So how do you do? How do you do? Uh, do uh, dog. Ready? Yeah. Dog. Kind of like you're calling it a dog. Yeah. yeah? There, you guys got it. Yes. <laughs> Does anybody have any signs they want to know? An animal sign? An animal sign? You wanted to know a uh, bunny. Uh, bunny. Bunny. There you go. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Bunny. And then we we'll also will see for the other way is rabbit. Oh, yeah. Rabbit. rabbit. There's bunny. Bunny. Rabbit. Oh, or like this. We're learning a lot about animals. What about family? Family. Family. Can you do that with us? Family. Yep. So start here. Family. Yeah, yeah. No, I do family. There you go. And we do that one because this is F. This, this is, is the, the letter F. F. So the beginning of the word family. So that helps you remember. So this is F. This is family. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. We're, we're reading a book about a family of penguins. There we go. Do you want to uh, uh, do the recap? Oh, yeah. Review. Review. Okay, ready? Animals. Animal. You do it with us? Animal. Elephant. Elephant. Uh, we got cat. Cat. Penguin. Penguin. <laughs> uh, uh, got dog. Dog. And 
Bunny. Bunny. Does no one ask about family? And family. But what might come rabbit, up. Rabbit, you're right, rabbit. What come up to family is like what? Neighbor? Oh, neighbor. Cousins. Right. Which is similar, so that's included. Sorry. Can, you, can you do that one more time? It's like close. Close. And a person. Close. Neighbor. And a person. Neighbor, because there are people that are nearby to you. <laughs> So we have a book about animal neighbors, yeah? Alrighty, so Mr. Zay is going to sign the book, and I'm gonna I'm gonna voice for him. So make sure you're paying attention to the signs while we're reading, okay? Perfect. There we go. We I mean, we missed a page. Am I missing a page? My bad. That book. There we go. Okay. Neighbors come in all shapes, colors, and kinds. Some are friendly. Some are grouchy. Some never stop talking. <laughs> and some love to be left alone. No matter who we are, we're all part of the same neighborhood. Neighborhood. There we go. And while animal neighbors and human neighbors can seem quite different, we have different skills that help us survive. Survive. Intelligence, sense of direction, using tools. Night vision, ooh. Sonar, that's interesting, sonar. Counting, oh. counting. Strength, ooh. Shape shifting. Can we pause and look at all those? Look at that, so intelligence, sense of direction, or the pigs looking for the truffles. Uh, using tools, there's a crow. Night vision with the owl. Sonar with the bat, because they can see where they're at based on how close they are to things by uh, using sonar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> counting, that's a monkey that's counting. Strength, ants are actually quite large if, or strong if they're able to carry a, a leaf that, that's, that's that big. And then shape shifting, that's an octopus that's, that's camouflaging, and an octopus that's camouflaging with their surroundings. We have wildly different likes and needs. There's all the different things that we need. Yeah, that's an anteater eating all the ants. Oh, and, and on the other side, the human's trying to get rid of the ants. So the animals need the ants to eat, but then the humans don't want them in their house. Yeah, which is very different. Oh, and swimming. So dolphins are really good at swimming. And human sometimes. And we feel at home in very different places. This is a neighborhood, and you can see where animals are existing and humans are existing in different places. Ooh, look at the jungle. Can you hold the book up really close so we can see all the animals? What kind of animals do you see? A cheetah? Yeah. That's on the tree. Yeah, yeah. I can see that too. Do I see a, a monkey? Is there a monkey in there? Oh, I see. Yeah, there's a monkey right there. A panda. Ooh, very, very cool. In bamboo. I see a sloth. Oh, yeah, there's a sloth right here. A snake. I don't know what that is. Some kind of bird. It's a bird. Wait, I don't think there's a fox in this jungle, but maybe if we go to the next page. Yeah, there's a tiger there. Ooh, look at this. Lots of different fish. And I see a shark. 
At the bottom. Yeah. This is under the wheels. You do shark uh, like shark. this. Yeah. This is how you do shark. We learned this one time. Yeah. Oh, whale. whale. So this is a whale. Can you do whale with us? Whale. There we go. Wow. Yeah, very good. I see jellyfish. Jellyfish. Oh, yeah, we did jellyfish a little bit ago. Jellyfish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, there's a walrus. 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 Can you do that? Because they have big tusks. Walrus. Walrus. Yeah, wait, we did that. Whale. Super fun. In this big, beautiful neighborhood called Earth, we all belong. Yeah. Kind of an interesting illustration of Earth. Of course, that's not what it looks like from space, but it's cool to see all the different diversity. I don't know where we live. Yeah. Well, we live in North America, so that would be right around here. Yeah. Wait, do we live by the city? Yeah, we live by some cities. In, in this picture, that's correct. Yeah. In fact, you have more in common with your neighbors than you think. We all need food and water, health, and rest. Rest. Clean air and shelter. Shelter. Yeah. Ooh, an elephant. We all enjoy family. Oh, we learned family and friendship. Home and work. Work. Communication and play. You guys remember what the sign for elephant was? Yeah. Yeah. Elephant. Bees. Bees. Um. B e e. B. What do you mean, right? Bees? Yeah. Bees. Same as animal. Oh, okay. same as animal? Bees. Just oh, do that? Bees? You mean bees? This is B. B, yeah. Yeah, B. yeah, yeah. B. This, yeah, that's what bees were. So they're like a sting, and you're getting them away from you. B. <laughs> yeah, you don't want a bee to sting you. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that can hurt. Usually those are wasps. These are the, the these types of bees, they don't usually hurt, hurt anybody. Oh yeah, that can that can hurt a lot. Yeah, they're not very nice wasps. No, wasps aren't. Yeah, bees That can hurt. And whether we have hands or hooves, skin or scales, no one wants to be trapped. Oh, there's that elephant again. Hurt or used or feel angry, sad or afraid. So we have that in common with animals. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Almost. Everyone wants to be free, safe, safe. This is the same sign. <laughs> and valued and feel joyful, happy. <laughs> And love. love. Yeah. I love you. Yep. How do you show love? How do you who how do I show love? Sometimes when I know the person, I'll hug them. Um or I'll um I'll just tell them that I love them. Animals need that too. Animals need, need that lots too. Of hugs. Yeah.
free hugs. Good neighbors always look for out for one another. And when we look with our eyes and our hearts, we can act with love and compassion toward all beings. Someone's grumpy. Yeah. I'm going to say, even the grouchy ones. That's what it says. Wait, why do grouchy ones need hugs? Because we all deserve love and respect. Uh, yeah, the, look, the, the, the monkey and the man are both crossing their arms because they're grouchy. Watch this. Very nice. So look around and wave to your neighbors. The furry, the prickly, the slimy, the shy. Next door, across town, in the sea, in the sky. And across the big, beautiful neighborhood called Earth. This is our home, and we are all neighbors. Yeah. It's the end. Yeah, that's the end of the book. Is that the Yay! end? Yay! Is that the last one? Yes. Oh, Thank you. Yeah, good job. Yes, thank you. Thank you for reading the book. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for, for signing, and thank you for reading the book about our animal neighbors. Yes. Family. Awesome. And thank you, and thank you for holding the, the book. Anytime. Hope you guys enjoyed the book. Thank you both so much. Yes. You slide that right out. That would... All right. See you a little bit. Hi, guys. Hi, Miss Kelly. Hi, Mr. Rowan. Would you like to learn about animals since it is yes. science time, our future feature? I would love to learn about animals. Do you have animal facts you'd like to tell us? I do. So, I don't know if you know this, but here in Idaho, we have a state fish. We have a state fish yes, in Idaho? Here in Idaho? Yeah. A state fish? It is not the rainbow trout like It is you. not the rainbow trout, though. Cutthroat trout. Oh, I see. A cutthroat trout. The cutthroat <laughs> trout is the The cutthroat fish. trout is the state fish of Idaho. And did you know we have a state horse? Do you we know what the state horse is? I do, but why don't you tell us? It's the Appaloosa. Ooh, did you know we have a state bird? A state bird? Yes. It's the mountain bluebird. The mountain bluebird. In addition to the state bird, did you know we have a state raptor? <laughs> we have a state that is raptor? True. What's a raptor? A raptor is a bird, it's a, a, like a bird of prey. Oh, what's the state raptor? It's the peregrine falcon. Oh. Which is, raptor is also, yeah, that's where it, it gets the name, yeah. So we have a, a state, state fish is cutthroat mm -hmm. trout, state bird is mountain bluebird, mm -hmm. state uh, raptor is the ra peregrine falcon. The peregrine falcon is the sound you are most likely to hear a bird make on television. Oh, really? Rarely is it an eagle. Okay. It is almost always the peregrine falcon. Um, Very that is why most birds on television also sound the same. Um, I bet you didn't know this. We have a state amphibian. Oh, what's the state amphibian? It is the Idaho giant salamander. It can get up to be 13 inches long. Oh, that's uh, just over a foot. It is. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it is aptly named. It's a large, that's a very large It is the Idaho salamander. giant salamander. Yeah. It lives here. It is a salamander. And it's large. It's quite big. Yeah. Very cool. That you knew uh, the tallest animal mm -hmm. in the world, that's a giraffe. Oh, Or the wow. largest, it's a blue whale. Do well, you know we what the whale. loudest? Is. What is the loudest animal, Mr. Rowan? Uh, the loudest animal is a. It super isn't. It's a shrimp. Um, <laughs> the loudest? Yeah. What? Yep, it's a shrimp that can snap its claw so quickly that it creates a sonic boom. It breaks wow. the sound barrier. It is under two centimeters large. <laughs> it super isn't. Um, it's a shrimp. A shrimp's the loudest. Um, That's very interesting. It's also hard to be loud because all the T-Rex are dead. Yeah, they, they are. That makes for a very quiet animal. Rest in peace, T-Rex. Gone but not forgotten. They're very cool. Yeah, but they're not here. Me too, but I would also be very nervous. <laughs> uh, I think that would add a lot to my daily anxiety to know that it was just out there. Right, right, right.
Hey, Miss Kelly. Hi, Miss Barb. Can I say hello to everyone today? Yes, you may say hello. <laughs> hello, everyone. Hi. It's, it's Welcome to Crab Corner. This is Miss Barb. This is Miss Kelly. And we're doing Craft Corner. You've seen us do this many, many times, I hope. <laughs> I hope too. Goodness. Yes, but we want to make sure that everyone that's watching at home is still able to do the craft that we did earlier today. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. So yes, yes. we're here now. Mm -hmm. During our creature feature. We are making a craft. Making What's the craft? Penguins. Penguins. These little penguin penguins. Fellows sitting in some rocks. But nice. you know, you'll know, understand the reason for this craft uh, just right after this. We're going to be reading our second book mm -hmm. and um, you'll understand. Yeah. The second book is about penguins. Yes. Which is why we're making a penguin craft. Okay. Yes. Anyways. Anyways. Miss Barb, how do we make this wonderful penguin craft? Yes, indeed. Well, we need cupcake. Liners. Cupcake liners. Well, that's and really interesting. I just got fancy. I saw these black and white ones, so mm -hmm. I just thought those were cute. That works quite well. You need um, some uh, gold cardstock and okay. some white cardstock. Those are to make the feet. Feet. The belly. Belly. And the beak. The beak. Here we go. Got. Feet, belly, and beak. There we go. You see, lots of beak. Poke, poke. Googly eyes for eyes, obviously. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> and then we also take um, the cupcake liner and trim it down some. I'll show you how we're trimming it okay. to make wings. Okay, very inventive, very cool. All right, Miss Callie. Well, yes. I will kind of talk and describe the craft okay. while you go ahead. First thing you want to do is take your liner okay. and just flatten it out. All right. Oop. Here we go. We're oh, gonna... glue stick. We need a glue stick too. Oh yeah. So okay. So those are the those are the materials. We also need a glue stick. We need scissors. You'll need scissors, right? Scissors and glue. And um, I'm not very good about just freehanding shapes. Okay. <laughs> so I needed a circle. Okay. That would fit in the middle of the belly area. Okay, so you like use a little... This is a lid from the uh, oil, the liquid oil. Oh, that very, have. that's very, uh, this is very topical because penguins have to deal with oil spills all the time. But I tried many a cups, but everything was too vague. Well, now we're reusing something in order to... Well, except I have to put it back on my oil so it doesn't spill. <laughs> okay, okay. And then I found this little wooden shaped heart. Oh. But the heart, um, we're not using it as a heart. We're using it as the, the feet. Oh, that's so pretty inventive. You just tuck the back part in under your liner, and then these little pieces just poke out like little feet. That's nice. Look at that. That's a little, little heart thing. Very cute. Very cool. All okay, right. so I flattened this out. Yes. Um, go ahead and take the uh, glue and okay. on the back side. On the back side? Yep. Just glue, glue, glue. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. You also have one of these oh, yes. pieces. If you can find some decorative um, paper. This, we use the stones because they're, the penguins involved are nesting in some stones. And so I just thought that would be a cute little, yeah, that's a nice. cute little side thing. Or you could just use regular, regular cardstock. Okay. Too. But this will help keep the, the penguin sturdy. Mm -hmm. So it's not just a free standing a, a cupcake free standing liner. <laughs> penguin liner. Yep. So Miss Kelly will glue that on okay. and then glue the belly on in the center. All right. And um, I'm going to make some wings. Okay. Which is you take one of the liners and you fold it in half and you cut out the, cut out in the center. Are we making one penguin or two? Well, we can. Let's just make one. Okay. <laughs> so you cut out the center of one of the liners for uh, the black circle in the middle. Um, no, for the those, these are the wings. So the the center is the white card stuff. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. And now don't get it too <coughs> on the bottom. We need to tuck in our feet oh. before it gets too dry. Okay, so we so Put we took the the, the card stock 
and we traced it around. Mm -hmm. Yep, I just made, I made a tracing of the heart, just got a pencil, traced it around, cut it out. And got that, okay. So then I just tuck it in right there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it, you probably have enough glue to hold it. Okay, did I not do oh, it right? On the sides. <laughs> Yeah. I, I'm, I'm skipping ahead. I'm skipping ahead. Yeah, put the because he's got two feet. Right, right. So put some little bit of glue on the, on the tip of the feet. Right oh, there. take it off to the side about right over there. Oh, there's two feet. Oh, this isn't one two feet. Oh my goodness, I'm such a fool. Okay, so one foot. Uh huh. Uh, okay, and then there's another foot. Well, let's see. It's. I think we want to just get him a little more. Okay to the center. Okay, and then I got um, this right there. Oh. <laughs> I'm just all over the place. Okay. That's the deal with glue sticks is they roll rolly polies. Okay, and then that will be like right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I skipped ahead to the to the feet. I so am so sorry. This is what we have so far. Very nice. Okay, sorry, what was next? The belly. The belly, okay. So, so I the just- white circle. Put some glue there. Okay. And then just center it into the middle there. Uh, you know me, I like to go ham on the glue, so I'll make sure I get all the corners here. Okay, right in the center. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, very nice, very nice, very nice. This is coming along very, very nicely. Look at her. Okay. All right. Um, wings. Wings. So the wings, let me show you what those kind of look like. So they're just kind of tilted off. Um, you've got the the straight side and the rounded side. The rounded side will go on the outside. Okay, so kind of like that. Kind of like that. Okay, so I just gotta secure those. Secure those down exactly. So you took the cupcake liner, you cut out the center, and made and cut them and cut the circle cut, in half. Cut the circle in half. Yes, and. Um, yeah, so here's the here's one of the ones that I haven't cut into pieces yet. It's just a just a circle. Perfect, and that makes sure that you can use the same cupcake liners instead of getting like another piece okay. of paper. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, every penguin will use two cupcake liners to use one for the body and then one to cut out the wings. Perfect. Okay, and here's my second wing right there. Very dashing, very awesome. Okay, okay. And go ahead and place the eyes. Okay, so the eyes just go kind of at the top. Mm -hmm. Not an anatomically correct penguin, but when have we ever cared about that? Yes. Never. Okay. This is craft corner, and we're free to be. <laughs> yeah. Who we be? We're being creative. We're making we're making our own kind of version. It's like uh, last year when we made this caterpillar. This is not how caterpillars actually look like, but. It's an artistic interpretation. And it's darling. And it's very cute. Yes. Okay, so there's one eye. And then another eye. Woo! Woo! Oh, goodness. Goodness. <laughs> goodness. That last your eyeball there. Okay. I made their eyes very close together. Yeah, I tried different ways and doing them close together was cutest. Okay. All right, then take your... Oh, I didn't show you how to make the little beak. I just got a strip of paper. Okay. Yeah, let me start on this end. And I just started on the end and I cut at an angle so I had a point. Okay. That little piece fell off is not used. And you just start at the point again, cut it at an angle, and you're left with a triangle. Perfect. And here's my little triangle. And you put the small side down. Okay. Just gonna glue this. Okay, okay, okay. Just put all the glue on there. And put it like that? Yeah. Okay. Some of mine got a little wonky, but. That's okay, it's cute. Mm -hmm. There we go! Oh my goodness, this was such an easy and fun it's, craft. It is kind of an easy craft, yeah. But it's, <laughs> That's so it's cool. Darling. Look at that! That's my little penguin making a nest. Well, this is a nice craft, Miss Barb. Thank you. Thank you for showing us how to make a, a penguin during this craft corner. Craft, craft corner. There you go. Penguin. 
our paper penguin pal. There we go. Okay, cool. Well, should we get back to reading time? Yeah, because there's back a really to science cute, time. Really cute book coming up. Yeah, a real cute book about penguins. We'll see you there in just a couple of moments. Uh, with magic. Bye. Bye. <laughs> So earlier we learned penguin, penguin. and we've been talking penguin. about learning uh, about penguins in our yes. book. Do you want to read penguin. that book for us? I would be honored to awesome. read a book. Alrighty, gather around. This is our last book. What's the name of this book, Mr. Rowan? This book is called And Tango Makes Three. It is by Justin Richardson and Peter Parnell, and it is beautifully illustrated by Henry Cole. Awesome. Love to share it with you all. I didn't know that. Wow. A blue whale can grow to be over 80 feet. That is. Did you know a blue whale's wow. tongue can weigh more than a car and more than a small adult elephant? That's very scary. You're probably safe. Um, From whales? In, in Pocatello. I think that's true. We live yeah. in a high mountain desert. There are very infrequently blue whales here. Okay. Good to know. And Tango makes three. How about penguins? Are penguins in Idaho? More often than blue whales, I would say. Okay. I, uh, I'd feel comfortable saying that. They're at the Apple Zoo. Zoo. I recently got to go to the Boise Zoo and see my favorite animal, which is a capybara, the world's largest rodent. Very cool. Very cool. Anyways. In the middle of New York City, there is a great big park called Central Park. Children love to play there. It has a toy boat pond where they can sail their boats. It has a carousel to ride on in the summer. Oh, it has a carousel to ride on in the summer and an ice rink to skate on in the winter. Best of all, it has its very own zoo. Every day, families of all kinds go to visit the animals that live there. But children and their parents aren't the only families at the zoo. The animals make families of their own. There are red panda bear families with mothers and fathers and furry red panda, furry red panda bear cubs. There are monkey dads and monkey moms raising noisy monkey babies. There are toad families and toucan families and cotton top tamarind families too. Ooh, those are, tamarinds are a kind of monkey and then we've got red pandas and toads. Can you all hear just fine? If you'd like, you can scoot a little closer. That's yeah. just fine. And in the penguin house, there are penguin families. You guys, you penguin? Penguin. Penguin family. <laughs> Every year, at the very same time, the girl penguins start noticing the boy penguins, and the boy penguins start noticing the girls. When the right girl and the right boy find each other, they become a couple. Good for them. Two penguins in the penguin house were a little bit different. One was named Roy, and the other was named Silo. Roy and Silo were both boys, but they did everything together. They bowed to each other and walked together. They sang to each other, Aww. and they swam together. Wherever Roy went, Silo went too. They didn't spend much time with the girl penguins, and the girl penguins didn't spend much time with them. Instead, Roy and Silo wound their necks around each other. Their keeper, Mr. Gramsay, noticed the two penguins and thought to himself, they must be in love. Ooh, in Aww. love, in love. Aww. Penguins in love. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Kelly. Roy and Silo watched how the other penguins made a home, so they built a nest of stones for themselves. Every night, Roy and Silo slept together, just like the other penguin couples. <laughs> and every morning, Roy and Silo woke up together. But one day, Roy and Silo saw that the other couples could do something they could not. The mama penguin would lay an egg. She and the papa penguin would take turns keeping the egg warm until it finally would hatch. And then there would be a baby penguin. You guys see the baby penguins? They're kind of goofy looking. Those eggs are 
really small. Yeah, well, I mean, human babies are teeny tiny. That's also true. Yeah. Yep. I, I guess I just didn't expect them to be so small. Yeah, they're, they're little. Yeah. I also think it's cool. Penguins build their nests out of rocks instead of, you know, we think of bird nests with twigs and leaves. Um, oh, rocks. Very interesting. You make do. Roy and Silo had no egg to sit on and keep warm. They had no baby chick to feed and cuddle and love. Their nest was nice, but it was a little empty. One day, Roy found something that looked like what the other penguins were hatching, and he brought it to their nest. It was only a rock, but Silo carefully sat on it and sat. And sat. When Silo got sleepy, he slept, and when Silo was done sleeping and sitting, he swam and Roy sat. Day after day, Silo and Roy sat on the rock. But nothing happened. Oh. Well, it is a rock. Well, so. we're only halfway through, so. Oh. Oh, okay. Then, Mr. Gramsay got an idea. He found an egg that needed to be cared for, and he brought it to Roy and Silo's nest. What do you guys think is going to happen? Oh, I, well, I, I'm expecting the penguins are going to sit on the I on think the they've egg. got better chances than with the rock. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Roy and Silo knew just what to do. They moved the egg to the center of their nest. Every day, they turned it, so each side stayed warm. Some days, Roy sat while Silo went for food. Other days, it was Silo's turn to take care of their egg. They sat in the morning, and they sat at night. They sat through lunchtime and swim time and supper. They sat at the beginning of the month, and they sat at the end of the month, and they sat all the days in between. That's a lot of sitting. Yep. I mean, when you're, when you, when you're going to have a baby, it takes a lot of work to get ready, even if yeah. you're a penguin. That's very true. Very true. Yeah. Until one day, they heard a sound coming from inside their egg. Beep! Beep, beep, beep! It said. Roy and Silo called back. Squawk! Squawk! <laughs> beep, beep! Answered the egg. Suddenly, a tiny hole appeared in the egg's shell. And then, crack, <gasps> out came their very own baby. She had fuzzy white feathers and a funny black beak. Now, Roy and Silo were fathers. We'll call her Tango. Tango. Tango looks a lot different than her dad's. It happens. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Gramsay decided, because it takes two to make a tango. Very, that's very smart. It's a good, there's a saying that it takes two to tango. This is a very funny joke to Mr. Gramsay. <laughs> Roy and Silo taught Tango how to sing for them when she was hungry. They fed her food from their beaks. They snuggled, in, they snuggled her in their nest at night. Tango was the very first penguin in the zoo to have two daddies. Aww. It's very special. Soon, Tango grew strong enough to leave the nest. Roy and Silo took her for a swim, just like all the other penguin families. And all the children who came to the zoo could see Tango and her two fathers playing in the penguin house with the other penguins. Hooray, Roy! Hooray, Silo! Welcome, Tango! They cheered. <laughs> At night, the three penguins returned to their nest. There they snuggled together, and like all the other penguins in the penguin house, and all the other animals in the zoo, and all the families in the big city around them, they went to sleep. Aww. Yep. Wait, go, go back to the last page. Okay. Wait, okay, it does look like when Tango grew up, she looked a little bit different than when, when she was a baby. Yep. A Which lot I of feel us look, like also happens with humans. So. I think it happens with most creatures. Yeah, they you look, start one way and you end up another. They don't just start out as like the, a tiny version of what they're gonna end up. <laughs> no, just I've always been this, just like you just this small. big. No, <laughs> it's like one of those things you put in water and it just like yeah. No. Um, well, thank you so much for reading that yeah, book, Mr. Rowan. I'm so happy I got to share that.
Roy and Silo and Tango were real penguins at the New York Zoo. They wrote wow. a book because Tango was the first penguin with two daddies. I thought this would be a nice one to share for our, our creature feature. And I was thinking about this book because there were a bunch of people who came and saw the penguins with two daddies. Mm -hmm. uh, and I am one of two daddies and I took my kids to see penguins. Oh. Last weekend, we went to the Boise Zoo and got to see the penguins, and I thought, this is, this is perfect. Perfect. They are. Yeah, that's a wonderful book to share, especially during our creature feature. Yeah, those were some featureable creatures. <laughs> well, I do have, uh, uh, to, to wrap this all up, I do have a song. I'd like to sing. It's I about... would love it if you sang us a song, Miss okay, Kelly. Awesome. I'll, I'll, I'll move over here. And I'll pull up my song. Oh, I should probably have done that before, huh? I'm going to let Miss Callie sing you guys a song. Oh, Mr. Rowan, I've done something grave. Oh. I've dropped my pick, and I cannot get it. <laughs> I'd be happy to Could help you. Please, you. thank you. Absolutely. I can't believe I've thank done you. this. Thank you for voicing your needs and asking kindly. Those are the... <laughs> I appreciate having in my friends home right to help. Now. Yeah, okay. Yep. Is this there is anything a, else you need? I think I'll be just... Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is a song called We Are All Earthlings, and it is from a wonderful television show that I like called Sesame Street. Some of us have feathers. Some of us have fins. Some of us are furry. Some of us have grins. We swim and hop and slither, and leap and soar and run. And we all live together on a planet of the sun. We are all earthlings. We are all earthlings. Spinning around together on a planet of the sun. We live in the desert. We live inside a tree. We live high in the mountains or deep beneath the sea. We live in tents and cabins and houses just for one. And we all live together on a planet of the sun. We are all earthlings. We are all earthlings around together on a planet of the sun floating down the river swinging through the trees climbing up the mountain or going with the breeze all of us can have a happy healthy place to be if we can float and swim and climb in earthly harmony, we are all earthlings. We are all earthlings. Spinning around together on a planet of the sun. Spinning around together on a planet of the sun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miss Tally. I'm always so overjoyed when you share your music with us. Well, thank you for letting me share the music with you about uh, at this creature feature, the Science Time. Yeah, thank you guys all for joining us. Um, this has been lovely. Should um, we bring everybody back on? Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Miss Kylie, Mr. Zay. Miss Kylie, say Miss Kylie, woo! Mr. Zay, woo! Awesome. Miss Callie, yeah. <laughs> and Mr. Rowan! And of course, Miss Barb for yes, showing thank you, for Barb. doing the craft, or our wonderful penguin craft. And also, special mention to Mr. Buster, who has been filming. Thank, <laughs> thank, you. thank you, Mr. Buster. Thank you all for coming. I yep. did, um, I did, I did bring some stickers. I hope that I have enough. I have extras of some other things. Oh, oh you do? Okay, awesome.